Joining us from the General Assembly of the Jewish Federations of North America is Tal Brody. Brody is a basketball legend, an Israeli basketball legend, and the chairman of the Spirit of Israel, Haruach Israelit. Shalom, Tal. Uh, shalom, Yoni. Happy to speak to you from Washington, D.C. So, you're there at the uh, GA, GA 2014. What's the significance of this event happening now, uh, this year? Very happy to join the Israeli Jewish Congress at the General Assembly. Uh, usually it's for uh, uh, representatives of the federations of North America. Uh, this time the American, uh, the Israeli Jewish Congress was invited and I think it's uh, very important for the American community to understand that the battle of anti-Semitism that the Jewish communities are going through in Europe and it was great to be here, especially in the last session, to hear the words of uh, the Vice President uh, Joe Biden and the fact that they're not going to, uh, the Americans are not going to accept a bad deal with Iran and the fact that the backing that the uh, Obama government, although they didn't vote for President Obama, but uh, the backing of the American government in the uh, Kippat Barzel, uh, with the Iron Dome, with about one-fifth of our military uh, budget is coming from the United States. And uh, I think he had a very encouraging words for the thousands of uh, um, the Federation people from North America that were here. You know, there's lots of talk these days about uh, the uh, Israel-U.S. relations. Where's that going? Well, if you read the papers, you think that our relationship with the United States is terrible. But in fact, it's uh, stronger than it's been ever been. I think uh, Joe Biden mentioned it in his speech that one-fifth of the military budget within the last seven years is coming from the American government. And also about the $100 million that went in for the Kippat Barzell, for the Iron Dome. So. In, in actually in foil, in uh, reality, the American government is solidly behind Israel, and I was va very happy to hear it from here. And, uh, and I think that, uh, you know, you, not everything you read in the paper has to be true. And from what you're seeing when it comes to the citizens, even more support, more solidarity with Israel. I think also in every poll that was taken in America, I think you have over 60 percent, uh, close even to maybe a little bit even more, that the American community is uh, behind Israel. Uh, whether it's saying that, uh, you know, the uh, gossip about uh, Netanyahu and uh, uh, President Obama, uh, and every family, uh, as Joe Biden said, they have arguments, you have difference of opinion. But in fact, you have to look at, in fact, what is the relationship between America and the United States and nothing has changed. And uh, as he said, it even has gotten stronger and they know exactly uh, what not to do and not to have a bad deal with Iran. They know it's very important for Israel, it's very important for the Middle East, not only for Israel. And it's important for the United States. So I think that uh, the feeling here, I think uh, after the vice president has spoke, it's, it's a better feeling than when I came here. Tal Brody, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Yoni.